retribution. Oh yeah, we want retribution. Oh yeah, we want retribution. your head they'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get don't let them guide your life towards regret i'll fight for what i love with every breath my past is filled with things i won't forget i use them all to push me to my best so treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like and Find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless
take your shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything. I pop off with the new rock, electronic, blow the sonic roof up. I'm too honest when I take a few shots. They're too toxic, need to take a new song. And you cannot save me, cause I don't need saving. It's everything I've been chasing, all here for the taking. Don't want to test your luck with me, I think I've had enough disease. I'm sick of all the bad thoughts, people who are half guns. You are not as tough as <laughs>
to SS Nut Bowling Club for the Matesy and Morning Fight Night. And for a charity, and tonight we've got some 12 bouts of boxing. And uh, well, I'm very pleased to say I'm going to be joined by Mark Warren. Hey, Mark. Yes, good evening to you, Happy Dumbrell, and uh, to wherever you are watching us around Australia, around the world, on the live stream from the East Cest Knot Bowling Club, and a wonderful cause, a wonderful cause, mates in mining, fight for your mates, and raising funds for Jay Stevens, whose world changed forever in May of 2022. Well, I've travelled the world with this young man and it's a long way from Arizona, but he's in his hometown where the best wines in Australia meet some of the toughest breed on planet Earth. It's Cessnock and his name is the Bazooka and his name is Ben Crampton from the famous Crampton Brothers, there's Michael, there's Jamie. I think I called him the golden boy back in the day. And these two young men talking of recent boxing as we wait for our ring announcer to bring our first fight to the ring here in Cessnock. These two young men uh, drawing a segue actually fought on a Costa Zoo undercard in Arizona when Costa Zoo fought the legendary Mexican Julio Cesar Chavez. And can you believe it's almost a, a pinch yourself moment, Ben? Welcome and thank you for having me here in Cessnock. Yeah, great to catch up again, Mark. It's um, it's been a long time between drinks, but um, it was a special night in Arizona. I know we're here. We're here very much for mates in mining and suicide prevention and awareness, and for Jay Stevens. Um, but and we'll come back to that. We've got 12 fights coming your way, and we'll. We'll wait for Glenn and uh, then we will take our first fight. But all those years ago in Arizona to think you fought on a zoo undercard with Jamie and Dad with you, God bless Mick Crampton Sr. And to think that all those years ago, a real pinch me moment uh, when you look back and have a look at the, the history books and such an accomplished career as an amateur and a professional. What stands out as the highlight for you in that stellar boxing career? Oh, well, yeah, Phoenix would have to be one of the, the highlights um, to fight on the undercard to Costa Zoo and the great Julio Cesar Chavez. Wow. Um, he was my childhood idol and would never dream I would fight on the same card as the great Julio. Wow. A big trip for the, for the Cramptons, Mick and yourself and Jamie. Who I alluded to earlier, I called him the golden boy and exactly that. He, I think, lost a split decision on the night? Yeah, correct. He, he lost a, on a split against a tough Mexican. Um, we sort of thought he was hard done by. It was, there was two Mexican judges and one US judge. Um, yeah, so I thought he did enough to win. Yep. But, um, and you, you fought an undefeated Mexican who was 7-0. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys that really know boxing. He was an undefeated Mexican and you beat him more or less close to the border and in his own backyard. It was a major feat because I can tell you when the Mexican crowd, and there were so many on hand in Arizona, when they whistle, that's the equivalent to the Australians booing. And my job was to try and get a very young Jackson Lewis out very early. It was quite a night and I'll never, ever forget it etched in my memory. Fast forward, Ben, uh, looking at your CV, 30 fights professionally, 25 wins, three uh, losses and two draws. Your amateur career, just a 10, eight wins and three Australian championships, numerous state titles. It's been a journey. You're well placed to tell us on the new zoo, Zoo 2. Tim Zoo. Uh, if I can get a couple, of, a couple of quotes on Tim Zoo and the journey, he looks to have had uh, a perfect lead in to what is going to be the big jump. Absolutely. He's, I like what they've done with Tim. Um, you know, he could have sat dormant while he waited for Charlo to finally take the fight, but he, he stayed active. He's had three fights against world-class opposition and walked through them. So you would have to say Tim Zhu is a raging favourite now to, to knock Charlo out. Nikita Zhu gets in with a very talented young man. Take nothing away from Dylan Biggs. And 
many were calling it a 50-50 fight. What's your takeaway out of the a very, very good No Limit card on main event from last weekend, or last Wednesday, rather? Yeah, same with Nikita. They're, they're bringing him along nice. He's he's not getting the easy road. He's no. having tough fights. Yeah. Um, a lot of people didn't think he'd get past Dylan Biggs, and look what he did. So, mm. yeah, I think he's probably 18 months away of being where Tim is today. Have they got to be very careful with Nikita at this stage, listening to Showtime, Sean Porter, some of the, and you've been there. It is a quantum leap when you jump onto the US stage. Do we have to be a little careful with Nikita, particularly his style of fighting? Um, yes and no. I, I, I know the Zoo Boys spend a fair bit of time in the US, do a lot of training, a lot of sparring. They'd be sparring the best that country's got. So I, I think when they do, well, they're talking about March in Vegas. I, I think he'll be ready. Well, so much to wait for to think that you fought on their father's undercard on the same card on that night in Arizona. Well, Jay Stevens, stand for spinal. And if you're getting the stream, as I mentioned, no matter where you are, in fact, I believe the Cali, the Cali Hotel is taking the stream as we speak. Uh, I believe the food's on there. Is it a barbecue? Is it a barbecue? <laughs> if it is, we should be there. Hey, what do they call it in America? A gate? Uh, uh, I'm trying to... A tailgate party? <laughs> same, same, but different. If you'd like to help Jay Stevens, the bottom of your screen, just click the QR code that Happy Happy has put together for us, and you are going to go towards helping Jay Stevens stand for Spinal as he... Uh, works towards getting his uh, foundation together and his world was turned upside down in May of 2022. Do you know, Jay, uh, uh, Ben? No, I, I don't personally, but I know Jamie, my brother, was on the same crew as him that day, that fateful day that the accident happened. Um, I heard it on the radio. I was at work myself. And the first thing you think of is it, it's family. So I, I called Jamie and they evacuated the pit. And, um, yeah, such a tragic story. Mark Warren at common, in commentary with Ben Bazooka Crampton. And I just mentioned Jay Stevens. There's the QR code on the bottom right of your screen, no matter where you are, in the Hunter or perhaps somewhere in New South Wales, Queensland, Perth, South Australia or Queensland. Any and all support for Stand for Spinal. Jay Stevens... Uh, on the 17th of May, 2022, he was involved in a mining workplace accident that resulted in breaking his neck and, as mentioned, changing his world forever. And we'll be raising funds throughout the night, but right now, let's go up to our ring announcer for the first time tonight, and here's Glenn Hawke.
We'll get the official introductions from Glenn Hawke very shortly. Here we go. And so there are the introductions from our ring announcer tonight, Glenn Hawke, Mark Warren in commentary with the bazooka, Ben Crampton, mates in mining, fight for your mate. And these fights are set for three by three, one and a half minute rounds. Red corner, red corner, Haley McBeef. Blue corner, Bridget Price. Round one action. And often the first mistake made with little experience is adrenaline. They're into it. They stand and deliver and then anyone that steps into the ring, amateur or professional, they get my respect straight away. And these people are doing it for their workmates. Absolutely. And for a great cause. Mates, oh, mates in mining. 50 seconds left. Set for three. First of three. Clubbing right hands by McBeef. Red headgear giving away size and reach. And what they lack in skill sets, they more than make up for with passion. Nice left jab that time from Bridget. And fair to say from a, a sublimely gifted amateur, Ben, if, if the amateurs could just stay with the jab often when they're novices, it'll go a long way. Absolutely, yes. Everything gets set up off the jab. Everything just flows off that. You can train with a bag 12 hours a day, but when you step in there, the left jab or the right jab, if you're a southpaw, a left-hander can be your best friend. That's the end of round number one. We couldn't do this tonight without our major sponsors, Conveyor Partners. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think the gentleman's name, the CEO or Managing Director, Daryl Johnston from memory. Um, I'm sure I'll get that, but it's very simple. If you can support our major sponsors in any way, then very much appreciated. Conveyor Partners, a new company providing a range of conveyor components such as conveyor belt, idlers, idler frames, cleaners, tracking and frames, and I could go on and on here, but simply go to conveyorpartners.com.au. Dean Cambridge, a real friend of boxing, he's in control here. <laughs> Round two action, Ben. And again, both ladies stand and deliver. Yeah, Bridget's got the, the um, height advantage and the reach, but Haley doing a good job of closing the gap as well. Haley pouring up there like she's climbing the step ladder and landing shots. Uh, and it's Bridget Price in the blue headgear who is more confident, let's say that, in the second round as she gets away the jab. And that's what she should be trying to utilise as a novice. And that's a nice jab too, Ben. But the hands... Oh, beautiful over and right. But protect yourself at all times and keep the hands high. Look, it's a lovely jab. And perhaps Ben crouch a little and use that full length and find your zone. She's, she's not really working correctly off the back of what is a, a nice jab technically. Yeah, correct. If she um, used a bit of footwork and kept the range... She'd keep Haley at bay, but um, yeah, Haley's closing the gap nicely. So um, these are these are good rounds. 
conveyor partners bringing you all the action. Round two, Mark Warren, Ben Crampton, along with Happy, our EP in control. And they stand at centre ring. A, a left hook, a, a, a left hook right on the bell. Certainly may have captured the attention of Bridget. And so it's been all action. With thanks to Conveyor Partners, and you can see Conveyor Partners on the bottom right of your computer or your, your television set, wherever you're watching us, around Australia. For that matter, you might be in Las Vegas. But there's the QR code, and simply scan the QR code and you're going to help Jay Stevens, and who, as I mentioned, his world changed forever. The result of a tragic uh, event a mining accident and his foundation stand for spinal click the qr code and support jay in his quest to get his foundation underway we're set for three rounds and this is round number three for conveyor partners so the girls touch them up And Bridget, the blue head gear has gone back to the jab, and that's pleasing to see, Ben. And it's a nice jab. I know I've repeated myself, but uh, young McBeath can't get on the inside if this young Bridget Price stays on the jab. Yeah, these um, the, the overhand shots are, are connecting, though, um, from Haley, and I think that's the um, the, that's the difference in this fight. McBeath. She's a no-nonsense walk-forward fighter and she's landing left and right hands uh, to the chin. And again, though, we see glimpses of Bridget who has a lovely jab. Uh, but now on the end of a couple of uh, overhand rights, if you like, clubbing overhand rights, Dean Cambridge looking after both fighters and a very experienced referee as well. What a great opening bout to start this night off. And all the action for conveyor partners from the East Cessnock Bowling Club, mates in mining, and it's fight for your mates in Cessnock. The game plan for Hayley McBeath, well, it's simple, walk forward and throw punches. And that is the end of three. We go to the judges' scorecards and a round of applause for both girls. Valley Operations open cut operator. She's had three fights, Ben. She's had three fights with three wins, three amateur fights. Yeah, she just tallied up a fourth win. It's a great win from Haley. Um, yeah, she trains out of our gym at Crampton's at Toronto. So, yeah, no, she's a hard worker and deserves the win. But same, I've got to say, Bridget Price, she brought the fight as well. So, good on her. Well done, Bridget Price. And when you watch this back, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, or tell me to pull my head in, please, Ben. When she watches it back, have a look at your jab, and you've got a lovely jab, and there's something to work off there. Absolutely, yes. She had a good jab and good reach. She just needed to utilise it over the three rounds, and it might have been a different story. I think there has been a cue for fight number two, and guess what? The big boys are in town. 
the first of them. I had a look at some of the weights. There's plenty of a uh, catch weight contest tonight, Benny. But you've lined up the big boys, eh? Yeah, two very big men that can obviously whack. So, yeah, don't blink. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> boy. And then, you know, we can talk about that. I've, I've had three or four of the corporate fights or the amateur fights. Novices can get into all sorts of problems. You can train, I, I alluded prior, you can train five, six days a week and eat right and do everything right. You can almost get a false sense of belief. And on fight night, I know I mentioned it before, you might do things on a bag that looks so good and so pretty and on the pads. But when it comes to fight night, you can do plenty right by staying on the jab and keeping it simple. Absolutely. But it's because a lot of it goes straight out the window. Yes, yes, that's <laughs> right. It's the bag don't hit back. Mark Warren in commentary with Ben Crampton. Come on, Ben, give me a plug for the gym, please. Yeah, shout out to, uh, to my gym, Crampton's Boxing Academy of Toronto. Um, we're Cessna Fawn and Brad, but Lake Macquarie is our second home. It's a great little gym. Um, we cater for anyone, beginners to adults, male and female. So if you want to come do a workout, yeah, come, jo come join us. What was the name of that gym again? Crampton's Boxing Academy. <laughs> well, we're not sitting next to each other. <laughs> See, what I do, I don't mind giving a little secret away, I keep one can off. So I can hear a little bit of crowd and i got a little bit of Benny Crampton in the other. <laughs> take the tip. I'll and take it. It helps a little bit. <laughs> I'll take it. So Tim Simple making his way to the, the ring. Happy Dumbrell asks, what weight are they? Well, I can tell you they're heavyweight. Um, Marv Filippo tipped the scales, 103.2 kilograms. Boy. Tim Semple, 115 kilos. We're set for three by three one and a halves from the East Cessnock Bowling Club presenting Mates in Mining. This is a very interesting matchup, Mark. Both these guys work together at Manlong Underground. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's Semple out of the blue corner. Mar Filippo out of the red corner. Dean Cambridge in charge. We're blessed to have Dean along with us tonight. Thank you, champion. I hope that gets back to you. And wherever you're watching us, on the World Wide Web via YouTube, Mark Warren, Ben Crampton in commentary. Happy Dumbrell along for the ride. Seconds right. out, and this is round number one. They touch him up. Don't blink. Simple left hand. 
Filippo goes underneath and a right hook over the top that lands. Both orthodox fighters. Oh. Just filling, filling each other out in this first round. Mark. On the conveyor partner's clock for Happy Cam Sports. 48 seconds left, round number one. Tim Semple, the blue. Mar Filippo, red corner. A left hand taken on the gloves by Semple. Filippo tries to walk forward and throw an uppercut from the outside. It's a hard gig. Fight two of the evening. Mates in mining. Fight for your mate. QR code, raising money for Jay Stevens. Then Cambridge has a close look. But Semple shakes the leg. Yeah. Well, Ben, now I haven't seen that before. <laughs> it was a head shot and he, shaked, he shakes the leg. I was just trying to work out what happened then. End of round one. Well... Half a serious fight here, and Semple, we thought he had a, a headshot problem, but he's limped back, he's limped back to the blue corner as the girls bring up round number two for Trek, Trek Industries and Happy Cam Sports. There's the corner. Well, I think we've got a leg problem, Benny. Yeah, OK. It'll be interesting to see how he comes out the next round. If, he, if he's still got a limp, yeah, there's obviously some sort of knee or leg problem. Or did he get shaken upstairs and found a problem downstairs? He's done the zap duty, you reckon? Wow, that was a chicken dance. You mark that one down. Sorry, Happy, I'm in your way there. My notes... So Tim Semple, blue corner, 115 kilos. Mar Philippa, 103. Heavyweights, don't worry about catch weights for this one. For conveyor partners, and if you'd like to help Jay Stevens stand for spinal, click the QR code in the right-hand bottom corner of your screen, wherever you're joining us on the World Wide Web. Filippo landing punches, right hand from Semple. So feeling out stage, we could say, is behind us. Semple lead right hand with a left hook on the uh, on on the uh, on the end of it. Uh, some sloppy work then, and then Semple throws out a jab. Right hand downstairs by Tim Semple. Sorry, Ben. As I mentioned earlier, Mark, these two guys work together at, um, at Manlong Underground. So, um, what a great effort for both guys to jump in. So, they're mates. They're real mates. Yeah. Good mates. Absolutely. Share Smoko together. <laughs> and so, the gas tank, fair to say, starting to empty for the novices. Mates in mining. I tell you what, they're not mates right now. <laughs> yeah, that's another great round. That's, um, I don't know how to score that one. That was pretty, pretty very close. Very even, very even. And Jamie Crampton, another one of my favourite fighters, is in the crowd. Multiple, multiple Australian champion, amateur champion. And uh, a wonderful professional, the golden boy. He was a tall welterweight, wasn't he, Ben? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he was a very tall welterweight, Jamie. Um, beautiful boxer. Blake. Did you throw Blake in? The next fight. The next. Just put on the next fight. So here we go.
three of three for Happy Cam Sports. Filippo, red headgear, simple the blue headgear, fight two of the evening. Simple pause with the left hand. Left right hands from Simple. Filippo unaffected. Back to centre ring. Semple faints with the punches. Bowler, an attempted bowler from Tim Semple. In fact, I'm sorry, that was Filippo with the attempted bowler. Filippo, heavy right hand, taken on the gloves by Semple. Fatigue starting to set in with the big boys, Mark. Gas tank now well below a quarter. Giving it their all, mates in mining. Fight for your mate. And what you lack in skills, they make up for in heart, determination, and working for a great cause together. And they work together. And they're working now. It says 15 seconds left on the clock, but I think the judges have said that'll do us. <laughs> It's a close fight, Ben. Well, I was about to ask, Mark, who do you think's got it? I, I think there's not much in it. Toss of the coin for me. A toss of the coin for me. Tim Semple, 41 years of age. Two teenagers, married. Mandalong mining coordinator for 16 years. He's had five kickboxing fights. That was some 20 years ago. And he wants to raise some money for a fellow miner. Remember, these boys work together. Unanimous. Mar Filippo gets the decision. Mar Filippo gets the decision. And they'll be talking about that for years. <laughs> Will they work together? <laughs> yeah, no, look, they're both winners in my eyes. Um, two, two big legends. So that is the end of fight number two. Our third fight coming your way. Mates in mining. And... Midway through our fight night, we've had an auction, so plenty of great, great ways for you to uh, put your hands in your pockets and support these great causes here tonight. And once again, we do thank you for turning out here tonight for our very first Mates in Mining Fight Night. The, uh, the old bloke was gassed by the end of that one there. Yeah, yeah, but it was good because I spoke to him because, uh, you know, that guy was a lot younger and fitter. But, um, Big unit. Yeah, he, he carried him good, so that's what it's all about. Yeah. Man. It's not about, you know... You don't need to go and flog someone. Not really, not in a charity event. No. <laughs> you know, like, no. yeah, you, there, there will be, there's always one. Yeah. Trust me, but... Um, but the stuff, you know, that was good. stuff like this, it's, um... Because you can play some court before. To step, even to step in the ring, won't you? 100%. Ah. Yeah. Massive. Yeah, exactly. But that's the whole 
thing, and that's what I always say to them, like, enjoy the whole experience, you know, like, um, it's not something you do every day. Yeah. Yeah. What do you oh, for some blokes it is, but... <laughs> <laughs> Far away. Travel for the next one. Five, three friends coming up. And uh, we're joined by Blake Minter. G'day, Blake. Hey, how are you? Through well, mate. Mm. How are you? How's, how's uh, the fight world going for Blake Minter? You had a fight recently? Yeah, about uh, three weeks ago now, yeah. Yeah, for the Australian title. Tough, tough fight? Yeah, tough fight. Uh, uh, didn't get the W, but we went the uh, we went the decision, and um, unfortunately, I just I, I dropped the decision. For the next one. You ready for our next one? Blake, Mark Warren, and it's lovely to have you here at ringside. All right, fight fans, it is Thank you, Mark. And three. just having a look at the Please fight CB reads this way, 22 fights. Sony 15 Bill wins, five Wilson. losses, two draws. And Blake Minto has held the WBF International, the IBO Asia Pacific, New South Wales Super Lightweight title, and the former WBF Australasian Waterweight Champion. He joins us for this next affair. And I swear I see a clown wig. Yeah, I certainly do. Uh, he's definitely uh, just a part of his standing Phil Wilson. And now, fighting out well, of the blue we'll corner. Well, we'll see if it's all fun and ben games once Sir the bell goes, Blake. Absolutely, Justin. yeah. There's been some cracker fights already. Some great, great entertainment. For Blue corner, Ben Sturjowski. We hope. Well, we're not on the canvas, so it's a little bit different. But we've got monitors here. Happy's done great. We've got some nice monitors here. And I can throw on the glasses. And everything's OK. Uh, we learn something every day. Man in charge at centre ring, Dean Cambridge. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner tonight. His father of two is 41 years of age, weighing in at 101.3 kilos. A steering wheel attendant at Mount Owen Mine, stepping into the ring for the very first time. Please welcome Sony Bill Wilson. Tony Phil Wilson, and fighting out of the blue corner, this 41 year years of age. Weighed in at 94.7 kilos. Also, an operator out of Mount Owen Mine. Also, making his boxing debut tonight, Ben Sturjowski. Ben Sturjowski. 27 plays 41, Blake. That's right, yes. That's the first thing that strikes me. Dean Cambridge, the man doing a great job. I haven't got all the judges' names as yet, but I'm sure they're on the way. Uh, now, Stoney, married, Mount Owen, steering wheel attendant, 10 years experience, no experience in the ring. He's doing this for men's mental health and showing anyone can have a go. Good on you. And Ben, 27 years of age, two children engaged from Mount Owen. He's an operator, five years, no experience. They're here for the right reasons. Blake the Machine Minto in commentary with Mark Warren. And we've got Happy Dumbrell at the steering wheel providing all these wonderful oh. pictures. And that's what can happen. Yep. That's what I was talking about earlier. 
Uh, you may wear the headset or the headdress in this occasion for Stony Phil Wilson, and you're very brave, but she's, uh, you don't play boxing, Blake. No, definitely not. He got caught with a great shot there, and unfortunately hit the deck. My goodness. Now, Dean will look after both fighters, and he's con oh. he continues oh. to roll. He continues to walk forward, and he walks into a right hand that finishes the night. And Dean's seen enough. Ben Sturbjowski does the job. Yep. Dean, I'm not going to call it a knockout. I'm going to call it a stoppage. I'm also going to remind people uh, what they lack in skills. What they lack in skills, they more than make up for in courage. And we're going to replay here. The replay. Here's the replay. Let me pick this up for you. He's in trouble off the left hand. Right oh, hand, right, oh, hand. Right, on, yep. right on the point of the chin. And Blake, when that happens on the point of the chin, it was a short right hand that finished it. You're going south. Yep, you're definitely going down on that one. And Dean Cambridge did an excellent job in that stoppage there, looking after both fighters. Big shout out, Dean. We're blessed to have you with us tonight. No scores cards required. Ladies and gentlemen, don't underestimate the guts it takes. How was that, Blake? We didn't get... <laughs> I got you up for one. You're going to earn your money. Yeah, what? that's right. <laughs> no, it was good. Oh, good short experience for me anyway. <laughs> but our winner by a first-round knockout out of the blue corner, Ben So, Ben... Blake Ben, he's 27 years of age. I know that the fight's over now. Engaged from Mount Owen. He's an operator in the mines. Five years experience. Phil needed an opponent. He loves the sport. And he always wanted to have a fight in the ring. And he thought, well, what better opportunity to have his first fight at Mates in the Mining. Yeah, that's it. At a great event like this. And you know what? He'd done the crowd proud and himself. Well done. Remember, guys, wherever you're joining us around Australia, maybe uh, across the ditch in New Zealand. That was a scary night, Blake. I went to New Zealand to fight in a thing called Fight for Life. The up upside, we raised five million for for suicide awareness. The downside, I was defeated badly by an all, all an all black legend by the name of Frank Bunce, who I call Sir. <laughs> The most capped all black centre in the history of the uh, game, I might say. Right, yep. It was 3 0 ha hanging out, heading into the fight. Am I making alibis, necessary alibis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, our next fight sees fight for. Pat Barry and Jordan Kilmurray. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Glenn Hook. Bring out Glenn Moore to come. It is now time for bounce number four. Please walk out of the ring, fighting out of the red corner, Jordan Kilmurray. So happy. Fight four, I believe. Wherever you're joining us. A lovely crowd in at the East Cessnock Bowling Club. And his opponent tonight. Honey out of the blue corner. Please welcome Pat Barry. So Pat Barry to come out of the blue corner makes his way to the ring. Let's have a look at this. Jordan Kilmurray, 31 years of age, one child on the way, God bless you. A partner of five years from Mandalong, multi-skilled mine worker, six years experience. No experience in the, the boxing ring, trained at C&D's boxing gym with Dan Murray. And he's doing it because it's a good cause and he loves the process of challenging himself. It's time for our official introduction. Firstly, finding out of the red corner tonight. This 31-year-old, soon-to-be father of one, 
comes out of the Mandalog's mind. He's making his boxing debut. Please welcome Jordan Hughes Murray. His opponent tonight, finding out of the blue corner, this 34-year-old. Works for DK Heavy Plant Services. Also making his boxing debut. Please welcome Pat Barry. Pat Barry, 34 years of age. Works at DK Heavy Plant Services, DK 14 DK years DK now. Referee, no experience, he's doing this on six Fires. weeks notice, Blake. The and the reason he's doing it, like his mate Jordan, for the challenge and to help Jay Stevens and also suicide awareness and suicide prevention, uh, which is prevalent in the mining industry. Yes. And Mates in Mining is all about awareness and prevention and bringing best practice to the industry and support these guys. Well, this is round number one, don't blink. We said that before, the heavyweights are in the house. 34 plays 31, 101 kilos plays 103. Two orthodox fighters, Pat ba Barry, the blue headgear, Kill Murray, the red. And the way they move, Blake, looking skillful. Lead right hand yes, from both. Kill Murray. Both men. On the toes in round one. Height reach advantage well and truly with Kill Murray. Barry pokes out the left hand, misses, um, goes underneath. Kill Murray covers up. Great movement from both boys. Nice head movement. Barry fainting on the toes, trying to bring Kill Murray onto the end of one of these punches. Goes underneath and over the top of the right hook. That lands, scoring punch. And goes again, sloppy, but perhaps scoring. Uh, Barry doing well here in the opening rounds. Now Kill Murray puts the foot down and opens up an assault. Oh. Saved by the bell. <laughs> okay. There's a saying, don't show people what's under the bonnet unless you really have to. Jordan Kill Murray just gave us a glance in the last 10 seconds of round number one. Blake Minto in commentary, Mark Warren joining you, mates in the mines. Fight for your mate. Raising money for Jay Stevens. Click the QR code, the right bottom right of your screen. And also supporting mates in mining. Suicide prevention, suicide awareness, and just a wonderful, wonderful cause. Oh, they shot off their bell, eh? Good opening first round. Lots of movement. Both boys are on the ball on this one. I got a feeling we've got action coming our way in round number two, set for three. Kill Murray. Pours the left hand, watch for it. Makes Barry miss. Barry walks forward. He's got to be careful. I saw skill sets on Kill oh. Murray. There it is, there it's it a right is. hand. Yep. It's a right hand, and Pat Barry will do very well to make the count. Dean Cambridge. He's up at eight. We saw the skill set of Kill Murray. Pat Barry will do very well to see out the round, but walks forward this brutal oh. minor. Pat Barry, he's not going. If he goes, he's going on his sword or on his shield. So Kill Murray again faints. Walks forward, trying to bring Barry onto a punch. Yeah, trying to set that right hand back up again. Mark Warren with Blake Minto in commentary. 
Right hand, he pulled it back. He fainted almost and pulled it back. And a bowl out from Barry. And now he's under assault. Kill Murray, will he let him off the hook? Cambridge says no. And we see the end of round two. Entertaining bout, wow. Replay action courtesy of Happy Cam Sports. Barry pours out the left hand, tries to go low with the left hand, fights with the right hand. Now Kill Murray backed up into the red corner. Pours with the left hand. Then a right hand and yeah. down goes Pat Barry. Walked straight onto that first one. Replay action for Happy Cam Sports and Kavaya Partners. More replay action. I'd love to give more of our sponsors a wrap, but there has been action aplenty. Which way are we going now? Round three action. Nice jabbing by Barry there. Toughest take. There was a right hand underneath from Kel oh, Murray. Wow. And again, Barry pours out the left hand, having trouble with the size and the, the height and the reach, but has certainly got Kel Murray's attention on occasions. A swing and a miss from Pat Barry. We're in the beautiful Hunter Valley. Kill Murray's on the hunt for this. We're in the beautiful Hunter Valley, some of the greatest wines on earth, with some of the toughest men and women on earth, the miners. The Hunter Valley of New South Wales. You'd still claim yourselves to be Novocastrians. Newcastle Territory. Cold crushes. Kill Murray. Backs up Barry. Barry holds on. Ten seconds left. Looks like it's going to the decision, this one. Three of three. Another bowler. He swings from the fence. And that's the end of the fight. Great fight. Both boys should be proud of that one. So... We saw in round one, Blake, Kill Murray showed poise, if you like, skill sets, footwork. And although Pat Barry could be messy and ugly at times, prepared to get the jab out there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, Kill Murray was definitely the, ni the nicer boxer out of the two, but uh, Barry was there. He was there to keep going, and he showed a lot of heart. And what they lack in skill, they make up with so much determination, grit and courage. And what a wonderful cause they're fighting for. Mates in mining, so fight for your mates. Let's make your way mate. to the centre of the ring for the official result. Please put your hands together for these two great boxers. Both on tape up here tonight. And the mates fighting. And that's what it's all about. And now the decision. From our judges tonight, a unanimous points decision. The winner out of the red corner, Jordan Oh, I don't know how I scored that. Come on, Blake, I put you on the spot. You've got more experience at this caper than myself. Yeah, look, I'm not tonight. sure how they scored that either. That was... It was a close fight. Yes, it was. For so a great cause. Cool. Very, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And We'll take the decision. Well done, for Congratulations, Jordan Kilmurray. Which brings to a conclusion fight number four. Fight five, Nathan Britton, Jason Regent. And that's coming your way very shortly. Mates in mining from the East Cessnock Bowling Club. Mark Warren with you, Benny Crampton coming back, and our EP, Happy Dumbrell, he's at the wheel, and he's doing a thousand things at once here. <laughs> Speaking of the cause, mates in mining, 
All ticket proceeds will be donated to Mates in Mining. Mates provides suicide prevention exactly. through community and development programs on sites and supporting workers in need through case management and a 24-7 helpline. We serve the construction industry in Queensland and the Northern Territory, New South Wales, South Australia and Western Australia as well as Queensland to the energy sector and nationally to the mining sector. Now, what we're trying to do with this is raise awareness of suicide as a preventable problem, build stronger and more resilient workers, connect workers to the best available help and support, partners with researchers to inform industry around best mental health practice. And, and of course, mates offering a 24-7 support line and case management to workers who need support. Fantastic. Now, Blake, I don't know how much you know about the mining sector, and, and so I'm flying blind here. I'm not sitting next to you, so unscripted isolation can be a real problem. Oh, absolutely. And especially, especially in the mining, like you said, in the mining community, um, it's, glad, it's good that they have all these services here to help to, to get this awareness out for men, for support for men. Mark Warren with Blake Minto in commentary. This is fight five coming your way. No sign of our man, Ben Cranton, so you're staying with me, please. <laughs> So we don't need scales for this, Blake, as Benny Crantham, Bazooka, comes back to ringside. He's missed a little bit of action. I know that much. <laughs> Just a little bit. We might have a changeover process. He's on the Coke Zero. If he can find another one, I'd love one. He said to relax, so I'm going to. We're blessed to have... Dean Cambridge in control here, Blake Meadow, one of the real good guys of boxing in Australia. Yes, Dean Cambridge is the man. He looks after all, all the, all the, everybody in the ring. I actually fought Dean Cambridge for my first professional fight. Really? <laughs> yes. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Blake Minto with me. His fight CV, if you didn't hear me earlier. 22 fights, 15 wins, five losses, two draws and a multiple regional title holder. Fight five, it's Britain coming out of the red corner. Regent the blue. Britain, the red, Regent the blue. Sloppy stuff early. Both boys. Well, there might be much on the punches, but it, they're certainly having what we call a dig. That's right. Big punches landing with both boys. Oh, nice jab in there. And Dean just checking the headgear on Nathan, Nathan Britton. I did uh, speak to Nathan earlier and uh, he's saying he's very nervous. He's uh, a gamer gone boxer. Well, he's doing himself proud being in there. Nathan Britton in the red head gear. He's got a story as well. I'll come to that hopefully at the end of round one. So Britton pouring with a left hand. 
both orthodox fighters. Although they're far from orthodox. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> On the toes. And that's the end that's of round one. Now, Nathan Britton, 38 years of age, happy, Blake. Four children, Lachlan, Noah, Lillian, and Jack, married. Ravensworth Open Cut Operator, eight years, no fight experience. Wherever you're joining us, these people, they're just getting in to help their mates. He's lost two mates to suicide in the mining industry and he wants to raise awareness that it's not weak to speak. And we all suffer at some stage and it can take a real man to, to ask for help. And good on you, Nathan. Yep, good on you, mate. And that's what the fight is. That's what the fight is. Yep. Don't worry about skill sets here tonight. Don't worry about the talent and ability. It's just these men getting in there and having a go without any prior boxing experience, like Nathan, who has lost two mates to suicide in the mining in industry, which would probably spark some interest with our overseas viewers very, very much. So, both boys awkward, if you like. Now into round two, Britain throws a right hand that goes a missed. Uh, Regent's got the height and reach advantage. Not a lot of heat on either hand. A right hand that scores as I speak from Jason Regent. Fight but pace is starting to drop a little bit now for both boys. Yes, this could get quite slow in round three. But I got full respect for any man or woman that steps inside the only square ring. Win, lose, or draw. And raising awareness for such a great cause as well. Well, Nathan scored with a couple of sloppy, what I'd call left hooks, if you like. Mm. Loose left hooks. Seventeen seconds left, and the fight night. Mates in mining. Fight for your mate. Brought to you by Conveyor Partners. Couldn't do without Daryl Johnston and the team at Conveyor Partners. Now, Happy Dumbrell. I want to help out some of our other sponsors here, but in the interim, you've got people coming through here on the live feed. What are they saying out there? Oh, mate, we've got plenty of people back it on and supporting all their. Uh... I see that Bundy, I see that Bundaberg Rum has mentioned here quite often. Yes, he's having a couple. I can, I can assure you. I can assure you. And I can assure you guys, if your friends are happy. He's, he's doing it well responsibly, but he's looking after his brand sponsor, Bundaberg Rum, <laughs> and, and doing all this at the same time. He's the executive producer, bringing you the pictures and the sponsors, jumping in with commentary and having a Bundy, having a Bundy <laughs> old time. When are they jumping on board as a sponsor for next year? Keep that in mind. Oh, big shots from both boys here at the start of the third round. Let's have a look at round three. Now, Blake, I want you to tell me what you see right now. Oh, look, these men are just giving it their all in this third round here. There's not much left in the tank for either men. They're just throwing because they can. Well, they can just. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> God bless them. And God bless them for being in there tonight. For Conveyor Partners, we couldn't do it without you. And a big shout out to the Cali Hotel. Might be a quick, maybe a quick stewie at the bar <laughs> between between steak sandwiches and a, a beautiful cold gold at the Cali Hotel in town. Yes, we're gonna miss there from Britain. Nathan Britton. Jason Regent. 
and they are absolutely gassed. There's nothing left in that tent, there's tanks. Blake, they are now saying, will someone please find the bell? <laughs> Can someone please ring the bell? And here you go, gentlemen, just for you. Oh! oh. Great work, boys, great job. Mates in mining, what a great event. Hey, and thank you, and lovely to see you here tonight. How, tell me, what's happening in the fight game for you, Blake, just quickly? Um, in the next year, I'm just hoping to get, it probably, probably more than likely be my last year of boxing. I'm yep. um, just looking for the, the best and biggest fights I can get. And you're staying fit 24-7 yep. by the look of it. Yes, I am, yep. So you're in training, ready to take the fight at any stage? Oh, well, yeah, pretty much, that's the plan. Okay. Yep. It's lovely to see you. And, and look forward to seeing on a card real soon. And thanks for jumping in and doing some commentary tonight. No worries. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. Blakey Mento. Blakey Mento joining us at ringside. And he got to do that fight there. The boys were absolutely gassed. Literally not the smell of an oily rag. They rolled into the service station. God bless them. Here we go. Have we got a draw? Anyone going the draw? <laughs> I'm going the draw. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. Well, Nathan Britton gets the nod. Great work. Jason Regent, well, he went for the knees. He wasn't going to raise the hand anyway. <laughs> he went for the knees. Great stuff. We'll be back with more action. Mark Warren with Ben Crampton very very shortly happy dumbbell you've got the top chat there you might bring us up to speed and i'm going to bring us up to speed with some of our minor sponsors very very shortly Guys, um, geez, there's a couple of cracking fights there. Absolutely. Absolutely. And here we go again. Chris Thompson, Steve Nevin, fight six. And 83.1 kilograms, Chris Thompson plays. 89.7, Steve Nevin. Chris Thompson, the, the red corner. Steve Nevin, the blue corner. A big shout out to Morgan Engineering, Trek Industries. You might have seen those people on the screen. Maitland Bathroom Renovations, thank you so much for your support. Alfabs, Y Strength Income Protection, Sign Style, Daniel Johnson Photography, Flowers by Emily Jane, and you can check her out on Instagram. Flanagan's Menswear, Cessnock Ford, Country to Coast Care, Pie Hole. I hope they're selling galas. First step conveyancing, bolt up mining, Cessnop pet and greyhound supplies, cutthroat barbering, Morrison. Hello, the man from Ironbark. What a name, cutthroat. <laughs> People on the other side of the water, did you hear that? Cutthroat barbers, grouse clothing, Jerds Real Estate, RHK Equities, Dedra Live Photography, Ben and Jody. This show doesn't happen without you. On site coach, Coalfield Piers, Solid Engineering, and back to those people who are bringing you all the action tonight. Conveyor Partners, they're just some of our sponsors tonight that have made them mates in mining, fight for your mate event here at the East Cessnock Bowling Club possible. Almost set for a start. All right, Ben. I'm gonna see how you go blow for blow here because it can be <laughs> it can be challenging. 
OK. So Nevin the blue, Thompson the red, and they start at pace. Yeah, Nevin putting the pressure on early, straight off the bat. Two of the Lux fighters set for three. Three by one and a half minute rounds. Dean Cambridge in charge. Third man in the ring. Nice jab, Steve Nevin. These boys have got skills. Yeah, Chris Thompson starting to settle down a little bit into it. Leonard some nice counters. So 40 place 39, nicely matched in weight. Five fights for Chris Thompson. An exhibition fight for Steve Nevin, who is walking forward on his appointment, not doing what you'd call total, uh, what would I say, prowess, but nonetheless, hands held high and not backing down to a man that's got more experience in Chris Thompson, who too is showing some skills, uh, feinting with the punch, working off the feet, nice balance as well. And this is round number one with 12 seconds left on the Happy Cam Sports Clock. Right hand that scores from Chris Thompson. Yeah, Thompson's starting to settle into it um, towards the back half of that round. Um, I think it might be enough to steal it. So Ben Crampton gives the first round to Chris Thompson, perhaps stealing it, maybe stealing it on the belt. I'm trying to pick up on the sponsors on these cards, but I can see oh, that's the most important. Conveyor Partners, Daryl Johnston, thank you so much for your support. Did I read there was an intermission here at some stage this evening between fights? Yes, next round, next fight. No, all good, just checking the time sheet. Round two. So Chris Thompson, he's had five amateur fights, three wins and two losses. Has he settled down and can he take care of business? Steve Nevin, the blue headgear, the white trunks. Thompson, the black with the white piping. Doubles up the jab, faints with the jab, and if anything, Nevin gets the better of the encounter. In close, slips a punch and scores himself. I think Nevin did well. At, uh, in close now, underneath and over the top. They're scoring punches, Ben. They're scoring punches. Yes, yeah, good combination. Got him trapped in the corner. And but now... Thompson fights back. Thompson fights back. Thompson. <laughs> Marches forward. A right hand, not much on it, but scoring punch. Taken on the gloves, a couple of body shots that might have scored. A left hand from Nevin that scores in return. Doubles up the jab and scores off the double jab. Uh, comes underneath, that was an ordinary looking uppercut. Oh, look at this, landed. look at this! And Thompson's in trouble. Mark Warren in commentary with Ben Crampton, the bazooka. Mates in mining, fight for your mates. And for Jay Stevens. So Thompson and Nevin trading and holding and gassing, perhaps. The footwork and the fancy free style of Thompson is now gone. And both boys are feeling the pitch. Who's got it, Mark? I, I can't split him on that I one. I don't. No, I, I'm tempted to say Nevin. It may not look pretty, but I think he may have scored the more landing punches. It was such a tit-for-tat round. It was, you know, both guys had their moments. We'll see how the judges score it. We'll see how the judges score it. I think you'll find Shane Stamford, Dan Perrin, and Cameron Burns at ringside, our judges tonight. So Shane and Dan and Cameron Burns, our judges at ringside. You know, the Colonel, Bob Sheridan, the late, great 
Colonel Bob Sheridan said to me, you know, people talk about strange decisions, but always remember that three judges on three different sides of the ring see three different fights. Absolutely. The Colonel, God rest your soul, my friend. What a great man. Would it be fair to say, Mark, whoever wins this round wins this fight? Absolutely. For Conveyor Partners, round number three, set for three, well matched up, Nevin Thompson. Thompson, the more experienced fighter. Nevin may have outworked in round two. Thompson perhaps trying to make a statement round three. Goes underneath with the right hand and scores up top of the left hand. Now walking backwards and Nevin is brave and marches forward. Uh, Thompson, a scoring punch with the right hand. It's sloppy work but they're scoring punches. Both land punches. Both scoring punches. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. But stay with us. Scoring punch from Thompson. A left hook from Thompson that scores. Yeah, just when you think Nevin's out of it, he just comes back. Toughest teak, where the great wines meet some of the toughest men on earth, the coal country that is Cessnock. This is Mates in Mining. This Look is at this, he's coming mate. back. <laughs> There's no give, there is no give in Steve Nevin, who continues to work underneath to the final bell. Wow. Well done, boys. And there's Jamie Crampton working a corner. The golden boy. What a sublime athlete, a sublime boxer. And uh, he's happy with what he saw. And if you'd like to get involved, if you'd like to get involved and help a cause, please don't be a stranger. The QR code on the bottom right of your screen for our great friends at Conveyor Partners. Simply click on the QR code and you can help out a great, great man. Stand for Spinal, Jay Stevens, whose world changed forever in May of 2022. Yeah, Thompson gets the win. Fair call. Thompson gets the win. I thought it was close. A lot of our contests have been close, which is good. Nice matchups. Very important for the novices and the inexperienced fighters because anything can happen, as we've seen. Exactly right. And that's why, you know, well, me and Jamie have helped out with the matchmaking on this card, and we've tried to make it as fair as possible. watching some men and women getting into the ring and trading blows, but also we're here to raise some money for two very great causes. So it's time to auction off a number of items here to help raise money. Have you got your wallets out? Now we've got uh, obviously people right around the ring when we do the auction from the centre of the ring. So if you want to put a bid on something, we need you to stand up. We need you to yell out nice and loud. Put the hands nice and high. Plenty of great auction items up for grab. Plenty for everyone. All right. You're right with that one. So what's all right, where's our South Sydney Rabbitohs fans? Any fans of the South Sydney Rabbitohs? I know there's, they're always everywhere. Our first item is a club polo signed by the 2021 South Sydney Rabbitohs Grand Final Squad. Let's open up the bidding anywhere around the room. Anywhere around the room, where are we going to start? For this South Sydney Rabbitohs signed, framed, 2021. Start me somewhere. Five hundred dollars. We're done. Five hundred dollars. We've got a first bid here. Five hundred dollars. We have our first bid. We'll take it up in bits of one hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Any more around the room? Five hundred dollars. A quick auction is a good one. All money going to a great cause. 
our Coming MC Glenn Hawk, and Lansdowne. this is all part of the night and our auction and supporting Mates in Mining and Stand for Spinal. And we'll be back, Mark Warren, now. Ben Crampton, and Happy Dumbrell with more down. fight action coming your way. It's it Mates in Mining and down. fight for your mate. Any more on $500? $500. Can we hear me over this side okay? $500. $500 for our Sound City Rabbitohs. Jersey, the bid is with you. $500. $500 going once. $500. We can give this away. $500 going twice. $500 for the third and final time. We're all done. Done. So. And so this, again, a very important part of the night. Glenn Hawk, our MC and our fight commentator, our auctioneer, raising money for Stand for Spinal, Jay Stevens, whose world, as I've mentioned previously, changed forever in May of 2022 and raising some money now. And of course, for Mates in Mining, for suicide prevention and awareness. This is Andrew Mates in Mining. This is, this is Fight for You, mate. And we will be back with you in about no eight minutes right. from now with, a, I think Let's we've got another six Let's fights coming your way. Let's Mark Warren, Ben Crampton from the East Cessnock Bowling the Club. See you soon. $700 New South Wales Blues Legends. We need a few, we need a few more, we need a few more bids. $700. Seven hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars. Nine. Nine hundred dollars down back. Nine hundred dollars. I'm doing my best only talking to the dumb end. Nine hundred dollars down back. Nine hundred dollars and we are at reserve. We're going to be giving this away. Nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred dollars. We do. Nine hundred dollars. Nine. Five, four, nine. Nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred dollars, thousand, one thousand dollars. All right, one thousand dollars. We're going to be getting rid of this. But we got eleven hundred dollars. Thousand dollars for the New South Wales Blues Legends frame. Thousand dollars down the back. Have we got any advances on that? One thousand dollars. One thousand. Two hundred dollars. Give me twelve hundred. You've got it. Eleven hundred. Twelve hundred? Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve. Twelve. Twelve hundred dollars. Well done. Thank you. Twelve hundred dollars down the back. Twelve hundred dollars for this. Let's make that going once. Twelve hundred dollars over this side of the room. We've got any more bidders over here. Twelve hundred dollars going once. Nothing over this side. Twelve hundred dollars going twice. For the third and final time. Done, done, all done. So. Our next Sarah. So yeah, just at the moment with the sound coming through the speaker from um, Come down and have your prize from Hawkey. It's a bit glitchy in it. It's coming through the uh, main mic of the, the setup here, so not much I can do about it. Sorry. On Wednesday night in Newcastle, Nikita Zoo standing who's authority. He's just doing an auction at the moment. But again, if you can donate and help stand for Spiral get off the ground. Five dollars, two dollars, doesn't matter what you got. The great man, it will all help. Zoo. Here we go, Kosh Yasu. Kosh Yasu's boxing gloves up for auction here. We have a sign How good is it? Happy Care Sports. Let's start this anywhere around the room. One thousand dollars, thank you very much, Andrew. Thousand dollars is up straight up. First auction, thousand bucks. Any other advances on one thousand dollars, Kosh Yasu, boxing legend. See if we can follow this auction around. $1,200, thank well, you for $1, bucks well, over here. $1,200. So they're auctioning off. With you. Here we go, $1,200. You know, you've got a few bucks. No. $1,200. We're going to come back over this side of the room. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. $1,
and we'll just, what do you reckon? Make it two grand. Make it two grand. We'll go by two. $2,000. $2,000. Wow. All right. Well, Going for a good cause. 2 1. You may as well make it 2 1. All right, 2 1 over here. I know you've got 2000 to spend, though, so I'll be back to see you later. $2,100 over here. $2,100. Any, any more advance on $2,100? $2,1 going once. $2,100. Two thousand one hundred for the third and final time. We done, done, all done. Thank you very much, to Andrew Hughes. A plus contract and Polly Welling, great supporters of the Newcastle Hunter community. Huh? Go to that table. Over here. Right there. Yes. There we go. All right. What have we got next? What's our next? It's quite hot up here, isn't it? Yeah. So we just got a bit of a, a break here between the fights. Uh, next fight coming up, we're going to have Patrick Duncan versus Connor Kelly. Maybe fight seven after the auction, raising much needed funds. Stand for Spiral. There is a. Uh 2018 vintage Shiraz, the 2018 vintage Chardonnay. Box set, I'll take any price, anywhere around the room, any price for this one. It doesn't have to be 2,000. 100 bucks, well done, thanks for joining us, $100. Vintage piece, all thanks to Peterson's Wines, a magnificent wines. $100 over here. $100, any advances on $100 for the wine. $100, magnificent box set. Who over this side of the room would like to go home with this? 120? 120? Yeah, why not? 120. Alright, 120 over there. 130. Right, no, let's go in 10s. 130. 130 over there. 140. Right. 140 over there. 140. Please, mate. Now you're on E150 out of you. 150 out of you. 16. 16, 160 bucks there. 200? Yeah, let's muck around. Let's go to $200. $200, $200 over there. Let's look around the room. Any advance on $200? $200 for this. Peterson Wines. Peterson and Wines. 2018 vintage set. $200. Men are $200. $200? Yeah. Two sixty. We'll go two sixty. 
Him out of my hands at all? No. A Mark Warren back at uh, well, not quite ringside, about 20 metres shy of the canvas with Ben Crampton. And I must say, Ben and Jody Dedra are very, very good people. They've never done this before, and they have just been phenomenal. The effort that they have put in. To putting this night together, fight for your mate, mates in mining. And they asked if I could read this out and relay it to people. Thank you to Ben and Jamie Crampton. Ben has been helping us out daily to get this event organised. We couldn't have done it without him. And Jamie has also been a great help, a wealth of boxing knowledge. A thank you to our major sponsor, Conveyor Partners. Thank you to Daryl Johnston. Also our minor sponsors, we thank each and every one of you for supporting this idea so that we could hold this event and bring it to reality. And we hope to be able to do this event annually with everyone's support. Thanks to all the fighters who are stepping in tonight to raise money for these two great causes. This night wouldn't have been possible without each and every one of you. And again, Ben Crampton, I, people don't get it until they step inside. You respect absolutely anyone that gets in the only squared circle. Win, lose or draw. Absolutely, that's why they call boxing the hardest sport of all. I it's, a, it's a, such a, when you're out there and you're on your own, I'm sure you've got trainers in your corner, but there's no one that, that can help you out. You, you've got to fight your way through it. It's not original, but I'm gonna say it anyway, Mr. Mayweather, you don't play boxing. Um, a big shout out. I drove into town today to the people at the Cali Hotel in Singleton. Uh, they're live streaming the event and holding their own raffle to help raise more funds tonight. It's been a wonderful few months, a long few months organizing something we've never done before. This is uh, Jody and Ben Dedra, but we've enjoyed the process and we look forward to future events. We took this on so that we could help out and donate all the proceeds to a great cause. Thank you to everyone that has donated or helped with their time. Yeah, Ben just cut me there. <laughs> As I said, it's been a long few months. Uh, we, we took this on so that we could help donate all the proceeds to a great cause. And thank you to everyone that has donated or helped with their time to make tonight possible. Thank you, Ben and Jody Dedra. 
and the hashtag, it ain't weak to speak. It's a great hashtag, it ain't weak to speak. And I'll tell you what else doesn't cost money. I love Are You OK? It's not about putting money in the till. It's about asking your mate, are you OK? It's as easy as a conversation. It That's is, all mate. it is. I relayed to Blake earlier. Uh, I've done this a couple of times. And once I was most unsuccessful. Um, in New Zealand, for the Yellow Ribbon Fight for Life, we raised $5 million for male suicide. It was Australia versus New Zealand. I was meant to fight a commentator. Long story short, that didn't happen. I stepped in with the most capped all black of all time <laughs> by the name of Frank Bunce. I had two pull out on me when they saw me get off the plane with Johnny Lewis <laughs> and talking a good fight. But I, I was unceremoniously stopped. My only, my only good point is I went two rounds longer than his last three. But, uh, yeah, she's a lonely place in front of 10,000 Kiwi fans uh, at the Auckland Convention Centre. I know how scary it is in there. And if you can't handle the nerves, then get out of the kitchen. Uh, I think I was at 220 beats a minute, and we hadn't said go for round number one. Now, you can do it as a pro, but you know what I mean. And we see some of these guys. There's no playing boxing at, at no matter what level. You can look fantastic in sparring. You can look great on the pads. You can look great in the bag. I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to slip a right hand. I'm going to lead right hand. I'm coming underneath and going over the top. But guess what? It all goes out the window. And so often through the gym and these corporate fights in Sydney, I've said to guys, I said, can I, for what it's worth, go back to your jab. Just go back to your jab because you're going to forget almost everything when the bell goes for round one. It's, and it's going to be the longest, perhaps, nine minutes of your life, and it'll go in a minute. And it's not a bad advice, Ben, to stay on the jab for anyone out there that's thinking of coming in and having a novice fight, an amateur fight? Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, your jab is your fundamentals, and a left jab can take you around the world. Or the right jab if you're a southpaw. Absolutely. But, um, yeah, talking about what it's like to jump into a boxing ring. Once you've stepped into that ring the first time, you become part of the elite. Wow. A one percenter. Absolutely. At no, when, when you think about it, you're right, you know. You're very much on the money. It's such a small percentage of people that say, I'll do this. And, you know, people say, I'm having a corporate fight night. I say, you're having a... Hey, welcome to the club. Well, this, this night's... Um, has had so much interest um, from the mining industry all over. You've got to remember, though, only 24 people put their hands up. How many mines are involved in this night, Ben? I haven't worked it out, but we've had interest from all over, all over the Hunter Valley, um, out western New South Wales. Even we had nominations from, from Queensland. So... Um, we can see this event being an annual event, and I can see it just getting bigger and better. You talk thousands of people that would be watching this tonight, because as you said, we can only have two, three hundred at the venue, and that's why you said, mate, we, we've got to stream this fight. Absolutely, yeah. The, the, the venue's a sellout. Um, we couldn't get any more people in. That's what we're restricted to, but people from all over in the mining industry wanted to watch this event. So that's why we ended up doing the live stream. And let's not forget why we're here. And again, a, a massive thank you to Conveyor Partners. I'm going to go back to the front cover because I'm sure I wrote the gentleman's name down. Daryl Johnston from Ben Crampton, Happy Dumbrell, myself, Ben Dedra, uh, Jody Dedra. Thank you. This does not happen without you guys and your support. And part of the night, as I said, our MC Glenn Hawk conducting an auction. And then we, I think you'll find two exhibition fights. He says exhibitions can turn, can turn real very quickly. And... Uh, Four more fights after that to come your way. 
to come your way. Fight seven. Patrick Duncan, Connor Kelly. That's coming your way. We touched on it earlier. Ben, let's go back there and talk boxing. I could talk boxing with you. Oh, hang on. Owen Leach, the original Cramptons. How good that be? More, more so, where's mine? <laughs> There's always a show for you, Mark. Brother, that's old school. Look at that. The fighting Cramptons. Tyler Stewart, Jonty Rain coming your way. That's fight nine. Fight ten. Hawani Harris, what a story. Stay with us. Mark Fenton. There is a great story there, I, I, I assure you. Fight 11, Shannon Southern, Leroy Hummon. And fight 12, Trent Lamont, Aaron Cutrus is how we are pronouncing it tonight. This is Fight for your Mate. Mates in Mining. We've mentioned mental health, men's health, women's mental health, and supporting suicide prevention, suicide awareness, and that's what Mates in Mining is all about. With a 24-7 helpline. I think it's raffle time. Is that a raffle? Cowboy. We got a cowboy in the house. When you talk about the mines, Ben, and you talk, I, I, I do some business with some people in Mackay, and I've got mates that are in Perth, tradies that go into the mining industry, and you talk about mental health. I mentioned it to Blake Minto. Major factors, am I on the money? Isolation can be one of the biggest factors between the years for people in the mining industry away from home? Absolutely. It's um, especially with fly and fly out workers, you know, they're away for three, four weeks at a time, 12 hour shifts. Um, yeah, it, it can definitely play on your mind. Being away from family and loved ones and the comforts of home and the shifts fly in fly out hey, let, uh, some of the money these guys are earning incredible but it comes with a cost yes absolutely yeah it, it's great money and that's why everyone gets into the industry but um yeah it, it can be can take a toll on you We keep going back to our major sponsors, Conveyor Partners. Go to conveyorpartners.com.au. You tell Daryl Johnston that Ben Crampton, Jody Ben Dedra, they sent you to see them. Daryl Johnston, Conveyor Partners, we can't thank you enough. And we're raising funds for Stand for Spinal for Jay Stevens, whose world changed forever back in May of 2022. Big thank you to Happy Cam Sports. Happy Cam live streaming at gmail.com. Bowls, football, surfing, beach volleyball, hockey. And tonight he's doing boxing. Thank you, Happy. First time, mate. First time. And uh, I want to say a pleasure to have you on board. And thank you very much for, uh, for coming to this event. Yeah. Morgan Engineering, Trek Industries, thank you so much. A family-owned business was established when owner Ben Swift noticed a gap in the mining quarry and civil industries skill set and enter Trek Industries. Thank you for your support tonight. Maitland Bathroom Renovations, if you're in the Hunter, I want you to utilize Maitland Bathroom Renovations. Bathroom remodeling, prices to suit all budgets. And there's some of the locals. What are they on? They're on the Great Northern. Cheers, boys. 
Why strength income protection? Income protection, new to the market. Look up Why Strength Income. Search Why Strength Income Protection. Alfabs, thank you for your support tonight. Science style, good people. Daniel Johnston Photography, thank you for your help tonight, Daniel. Flowers by Emily Jane. Supplied all our flowers on the corporate tables tonight. Thank you so much. Check out Emily Jane on Instagram. Flanagan's menswear. Menswear, workwear, school clothes, whatever you need. Rob can sort you out. You been to Flanagan's? Yeah, Rob's a good man. He's been in business a lot of years in Cessnock. Does and, he do um, your T-shirts? He does, absolutely. Oh, my T-shirt? <laughs> right, I'll put an order in on Monday. Cessnock Ford, proud sponsor of the East Cessnock Bowling Club and Mates Mining Fight Night. Country to Coast Care, disability support care, professionals providing compassionate and kind care, helping you to live more independently. Pie Hole, sponsor of our fight night, which will see two people walk away with a, a baby Weber each. The best pies and cakes in the Hunter Valley. That's a very big wrap. I must declare an interest in Garlo's pies. We're thin on pastry, we're big on meat. However, if you're in the Hunter, you do as you're told and you get to pie hole. <laughs> First step conveyancing. For all your conveyancing needs, give Chelsea a call. First step conveyancing. Bolt up mining. Thank you for being involved. Established back in 2008. And thank you for your support tonight. Cessnock Pet and Greyhound Supplies. Servicing Cessnock and surrounds with all your pet meats and pet supplies. Here's that barber. Cutthroat. Cutthroat. Reminds me of the man from Iron Bark. Cutthroat barbering at Morissette. I'll tell you what. I didn't get through them all. So many miners involved. Involved, I mean, our minor sponsors, along with Conveyor Partners. It's that time again to go up to our ring announcer. And with that, here's our fight MC, Glenn Hawk. Patrick Duncan. Now, Ben, it's got exhibition here. Am I correct? Yeah, that's correct, Mark. The next two bouts are exhibition bouts. Um, we had a couple of opponents withdraw um, due to injury. So, um, yeah, we've, we've found a couple of replacements, and these guys still get to move around. Great stuff. I'm looking for a fight And scene. now, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome Connor Kelly. I'm looking for my sheet for Connor Kelly. So both fighters were in the ring, exhibition fight. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our official introduction for our exhibition fights. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner tonight, this 21-year-old weighed in at 69.6 kilos. He's an apprentice fitter with MMD Australia and my side fighter, please welcome Patrick Duncan. So Patrick Duncan coming to us out of the red corner, tipping the scales at 69.6 kilograms, 21 corner. years of age. The 23-year-old weighed in at 61.5 kilos. He's a scientist working in the mining industry. At his first fight last week, please welcome Connor Kelly. Tipping the scales at 61.5, he's 23. He's a scientist. My goodness, what are you doing? <laughs> His first fight last week, or was that at lunchtime? He's 23 years of age. Ah, Patrick's opponent pulled out. And I was asked to step up for an exhibition. Well done, Connor Kelly. Thank you. 
thank you on behalf of Mates in Mining. So Duncan in the redhead gear, Connor Kelly, if you're listening in Ireland, and it's got Ireland, it's got Irish written all over it. So Kelly is the blue headgear. Duncan has Muay Thai experience, has family in the mines all their life. It can be lonely and it can be a dark place, he says, with brutal reality. Well said, young Patrick, 21 tender years of age. Patrick Duncan, the red headgear. Both guys showing a bit of technical ability yep. early in this round. That's good. Need to get a name on our referee here in charge. Dean's having a break. Yeah, that's Shane Stanford. That is Shane. Yeah, very experienced referee. Well known in the Newcastle area. Very much so. Haven't seen Shane for a while now. I said g'day out the back. Round one action. Set for three one and a halves. An exhibition, as mentioned, Connor stepping up at late notice. There's the end of round number one. Round number one brought to us by Happy Cam Sports. And the cheers go up for this young lady. And why not, respectfully? Set for round number two, here we go. The boys touch him up. Great sportsmanship. And Connor has definitely got some skills, as has Patrick Duncan. Yeah, both guys, you know, they keep their hands up, they've got a bit of movement. Um, yeah, you know, you can tell they've done it, they've done a bit of experience. Absolutely. Well, Patrick's got Muay Thai experience. Um, as I mentioned, he said his entire family have worked in the mines their entire life. This is Patrick Duncan. And he says it can be a lonely and dark place. He's just 21 years of age, but it's great that our young are onto the message early. He's an apprentice fitter. Yeah, apprentice fitter versus scientist. Yeah, well, they, well, that's the odd couple. So, if you like, a spa, as Ben will tell you, sparring in itself is different altogether, where you're moving around and testing your punches, not carrying each other, but not putting the foot down either, Ben. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, these guys, are, you know, they're having a good hit out and without going ridiculous. But um, I think it's a pretty good entertaining matchup. Some lovely skills from the young men. And that's the end of round number two for Happy Cam Sports Live Streaming. How are those chips? I can't eat on air, and you've got control of my microphone. It's OK. <laughs> <laughs> They smell good from where I'm sitting. Shane Stanford is the man in charge. Our third man in charge, Dean, would be at ringside with 
Dan Perrin and Cam Cameron Burns. Third and final round, Connor Kelly, blue corner, Patrick Duncan, red corner. Right hand from Connor Kelly. Left hand underneath was nice. Throws a little left rip. That can be a, a great shot, Bazooka, the left rip. Yeah, love the left rip to the body. Every, every time I see one, I think of one man. <laughs> Skinny Hussain. Nadal Skinny Hussain, the little body snatcher. Yeah, absolutely. What a great body puncher he was. And we saw Nikita Zhu stop Dylan Biggs last week, last Wednesday night. The liver shot shuts, shuts you down. You, you, you can't sustain the perfect liver shot. The body shuts down. Absolutely. It's, um, you know... I think that's what was the um, the telling point in the big zoo fight, was that body punch and just just slowly wore Dylan down. Apparently, you've got to if you get a body shot like that, you've got to keep moving. If you don't, you go. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, easier yeah. said than done. Easier said than done. Right hands over the top from Patrick Duncan. Right on the end. Yeah, good and exhibition, boys. Exhibition bout. Right Please on the end of round together. three. Well done, together. young men. And well done. Wherever you're joining us around the world, wherever you're joining us around Australia or New Zealand, mates in mining. Fight for your mate. So, we have a and supporting no, no. Okay. suicide awareness and prevention with a 24-hour helpline available to miners all over Australia. What an initiative. And supporting Jay Stevens, to which end our major sponsors, Conveyor Partners. And you can see, you can see the quick code, the QR quick code. Simply scan the code, stand for spinal, and help Jay Stevens established his goal and his foundation supporting people in a, in a similar predicament to himself. Two great causes, one great night from the East Cessnock Bowling Club. Thank you guys. As we go up to our ring announcer, right, fans, it is now time to get into the Glenn Moore. Please welcome to the ring, Bunny out of the red corner, JP. And now introducing our fighter out of the blue corner. Please welcome Owen Leach. Is that an easy cut paste? No. Okay. Dean Cambridge. Dean Cambridge just dropping by. He handled the first six fights with aplomb. He's, uh, I think we've given him about five or six shout-outs. He's a great man for boxing, and he looked after the fighters spectacularly well. And when they're novices, strange things can happen very, very quickly, but you looked after them great. Well done, champion. Dean Cambridge, well, as I said, one of nature's gentlemen. One of nature's gentlemen. Yeah, local legend, Aldino. And his opponent tonight... Out of the Blake Minto said that was his first the opponent. Is it? That's right. Yes. Yes. yes, I, I forgot Lee's all about that. Owen Lee. So another exhibition fight. JP Benguin, 32 years of age. He's married. He's working at Mandalong. He's a fitter. Five years experience. He's had 15 fights. He's had 15 fights. Hang on a second. 
Owen Leach, 32 years of age, he's single, so are my girls. Uh, Big O's painting and decorating a painter, 25 plus fights. JP needed an opponent, so I put my hand up. Here we go. It's an exhibition, and how long will it stay that way? Leach weighed, weighed in at 88.4 kilograms. JP Penguin at 93.2 kilograms. Jamie Crampton was calling him Penguin. It's Penguin for what it's worth, tomato, tomato. Oh, he'll never forgive you over that argument. It's Penguin. I got it right. I said, Jamie, it's not the bird. He said, yes, it is. <laughs> oh, wow. So Leach. Oh, they both got the red headgear on. Yeah, I know both well, both boys well, Mark. Um, Owen trains out of my gym at, at Crampton's at what? Toronto. Well, they both got solid black, and they both got they both got red headgear. So feel free to help me out at any time here. Yeah, JP's arm um, with, with his back to us. Okay, got him. Yeah, he's um, yeah, he, he's he's fought for a lot of years. Good guy. So um, yeah. Both these guys jumping in for a, for an exhibition bout with JP's opponent falling through. Penguin's a, a switch hitter. Yeah, good boxer, good technical IQ. It was a good prospect back in the day. Now he's 32 years of age. Yeah. Owens had Owens had 25 plus fights, so he too plenty of experience in the amateur ranks. And there's the end of round one, and you can see the balance and the footwork and the head movement. Very, very nice. Yeah, both very good guys. <laughs> Round one brought to you by Morgan Engineering. Morgan Engineering been delivering specialised engineering services to the coal mining and construction industry for over 40 years. Thank you very, very much to those people at Morgan Engineering. As the girls for conveyancing, or rather conveyor partners, bring up round number two for those people at Morgan Engineering. So Begwin out of the red corner. Owen Leach, the blue corner, right hand on the gloves there. Yeah, they're skilled enough, aren't they, Ben, that they're, they're working each other without really trying to put the foot down. Yeah, this is more of a chess match, this, this exhibition bout, which is great. It's um, both guys just showing off their technical ability. Leach downstairs, fast upstairs. Begwin goes downstairs himself, up goes the guard. Tapping away, Leach, uh, a left hook from the outside from Begwin. Yeah, you know, probably running at about 50%, both boys, to be fair, Dinkum. Now they pick up the pace a little. Ben, in sparring, there's that unwritten rule, isn't there? Yeah, that's exactly right. Mostly. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> I've seen them. I've seen spars get out of hands at times, but these two guys are, you know, they're they're sticking to the script and they're just boxing along, staying on the same song page, the unwritten contract. Again, going back to some of the things that I was passed down along the along the journey by the Colonel Bob Sheridan, who we lost this year. What a what a great. What a great of boxing, a Hall of Famer. That's the end of round two here. Owen Leach and JP Benguin. But I say the only thing I know about boxing came from the corner of Johnny Lewis. And I kind of saying it's a good CV. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't go wrong with Johnny. What a terrific guy and a Hall of Famer. A canistota. Hall of Famer. Yes, and a gentleman to boot. Absolute gentleman. A friend and a mentor to so many thousands of kids over the years. His, uh, his boy Jackson Lewis, who I carried out of the hospital the day when he was born, 
best friends with Nikita. Yeah, OK, well, there's a bit of trivia for you. I did, I did not know that. Yeah, you'll see him all the time. They're, they're tied at the hip. They touch him up. Three of three. East Cessna Bowling Club bringing you fight for your mate. Mates in mining. This is Owen Leach and JP Penguin. JP Penguin, if you're trying to decipher who's who in the zoo, he's got some fluoro green and an umbrella on the on the back of the singlet. In fact, they both have. There you go. They're both wearing, they're both wearing solid black. The tattoo. There you go, JP. The left arm heavily tattooed. Left underneath, left up top by Begwin. Couple of scoring shots from both fighters. Leach works over underneath and Begwin goes over the top. Leach, lead left hand of the body, right hand over the top. Begwin taps at the taps at the rib cage and pulls the punch. Again, underneath, over top, left to the body, right hook. Yeah, both boys working well on the inside. Ten seconds left. Three of three. Some speed being shown in the last ten seconds. The boys touch up the accelerator. Good rally at the end. Well, I'm sure we'll put that in the bank as a draw, will we not? <laughs> yeah. It would be unsportsmanlike not to. No, both boys had their moments and um, boxed along together well. So, yeah, definitely one wasn't any better than the other. We'll make this a official with Shane Stanford. Pretty sure the result. Up go the hands. Great stuff. Great stuff. And the crowd appreciated here. An audience that's been capped so far as maximum and the full house and, and, and people here at the at the bowling club at East Cessna, a wonderful, wonderful club. You've got your own corporate boxes overlooking the... You should have sold those as super boxes. You've got indoor dining, and they're sitting inside this luxurious little bowling club, and everyone's outside. Yeah, East Cessna Bowling Club is like a little mini entertainment centre. Yeah. They, they've held fights here before, and it's a great, great venue. We're going to go back to our ring announcer. Here's Glenn Hawk. Tyler Stewart, John T. Rain coming your way. It's fight number nine. It's now time to welcome into the ring for our fighters of bout number nine. Fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome Tyler Stewart. Little bit about Tyler Stewart. He tipped the scales at 85.8 kilograms, 27 years of age, uh, a partner of 11 years. He's at Mandalong Underground, operator, seven to eight years experience, no fight experience. He says, something I've always wanted to do, Ben, and didn't think I'd get a chance to. I love the sport of boxing, but I like a bit of fun and to push myself and to step out of my comfort zone for a great cause. Well done, Tyler. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Tyler, Tyler trains in the gym at night. Out of the blue corner. And, um, yeah, he's no, he's a, he's, he's a good kid. So Tyler Stewart, 27, plays Jonty Rain, 25. He tips the scales at 82 kilograms. He's 25 years of age. He's single. There's nothing wrong with that, Jonty. Um, he works at Narrabri Coal Operations. Talking about New South Wales towns, he's a minor driver, six years experience, no experience in the fight game. And I just want to push myself, he says. This is Jonty Rain.
and Ben, our MC tonight, because I know from experience how tough it can be. He's done a wonderful job. Glenn Hawk. He's done fantastically well for what it's worth, and please pass that on to him. A tough kick. Uh, especially, respectfully, on the smaller shows where you've basically got, got to do everything. Yeah, no, he's, um, he's done a hell of a job. So, um, no, I think he's found his calling. What's he, well, no, don't get carried away. <laughs> no, I mean, hey, hey, there's levels. <laughs> Fight fans, here we go. <laughs> pound for pound, <laughs> round by round. <laughs> I'm sure he can learn a thing or two from you, Mark. No, 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 I wasn't <laughs> saying that. You think I'm pissing in my own pocket, don't you? Can I say that? I just did. All right. So set for three. Bazooka's come to life. We've gone through the CVs. It's the Hunter versus Narrabri, Western New South Wales. Similar weights. I call them cruisers. This will be interesting. They bring him tough out west, so I'd like to see how this boy from Narrabri goes. Nil experience. Jaunty out of the blue corner. Tyler Stewart, the red. And so Tyler Stewart, a right hand up top. Jaunty, uh, clubbing right hand, left and right. Flying early in round one. Throw skill sets and game plans out the window. Working underneath, over the top. It's Jaunty Rain with a work weight in round one, but we know that the petrol tank can drop dramatically very quickly in the boxing game. Tyler Stewart smart, hands high, and perhaps waiting for rain to gas. Yeah, plenty of sparks here in the first round. They've, they've come out a million miles an hour. So Johnny Rain, young man from Narrabri. Oh, good right in. Now, what I mentioned before, the tank can drop very quickly. No matter what you think your fitness levels are, boxing fitness can be entirely different when you're a novice. And he would be starting to feel it a little bit now. And a straight right hand from Tyler Stewart. And then left to end round number one. Good round. So Ben, for Trek Industries, search Trek Industries today. T-R-E-C-K, Trek Industries. How did you see round one? I, you probably got to give it to Rain, but you saw Tyler Stewart perhaps having the smarter game plan. I thought Rain won the first half of the round, and then Tyler Stewart had his moments at the second half. So I think it's an interesting round the score. I think Tyler Stewart's plan is to be there in round two, but as I look at him now, trying to just trying to keep a lid on the adrenaline, open up the lungs, open up the lungs. Did you ever stand between rounds, Bazooka, to open up the lungs? In the Emma days, I did. I okay. was sparring, but yeah. you know, when you start doing 12 round fights, no. <laughs> you, you, you can't stand it. So here we go. Tyler Stewart, the height and reach, phenomenal. Both cruisers, really, in terms of weight. Same game plan, Rain. He's just coming forward. Stewart now getting off the jab. And that's what he needs to do. He just needs to jab and move and, and keep him at bay. Scoring jab. Tyler Stewart. And another jab. Scoring punch. And again, he's beating him to the jab. That can be lethal in the amateurs. And on comes Rain, the Narrabri Coal Operations Mining Driver. Yeah, Rain definitely making a fight out of it, keeping, keeping Tyler honest, but 
Tyler's boxing a little bit more this round, and I think it's, it's paying dividends. Blood coming from the nose of Jonty Rayan. Won't worry the miners. There'll be no sympathy there. He's slowing up now, Jonty. And the jab is becoming prominent from Stewart. The local from the hunter from Mandalong underground. 10 seconds left of round two. He digs deep and he bites down on the guard, Jonty Rain. That's the end of two. For Trek Industries, round two, Ben Crampton, which way are you going? I'll go Stewart, round two. I thought he controlled it with the jab. Changed his game plan up a bit and just started boxing more. Um, but still a close fight. It's, I think it's going to go down to the third round. He's, he wins his back. So our card girls for Conveyor Partners bringing up round number three. Girls, you've done a wonderful job. Shane Stanford doing fantastic job trying to let the boys, you know, control the destiny, but keeping a, a close eye on proceedings at all times. He's waving there. He's saying it's hot in here. I know what you mean. I could sweat for Australia. I'm looking forward to this, Ben. I'm really looking forward to round three. Cruiserweight action from the East Cess Not Bowling Club. Stewart, height and reach. Rain, blue headgear. Stewart getting off the jab. Stewart dictating terms. Stewart is first with a jab. Now right hand underneath. Rain trying to get close, but Stewart is dictating terms from the outside. Ben Crampton. Yeah, Tyler's just got to keep boxing, keep that range, and he, I think he'll get the win. But, you know, Rain's going to try and close the gap on him. Let's not forget Tyler hasn't got fight experience early uh, either, rather, and he should start to tire also. But the, the plan has been great, and he looks the more relaxed of the two fighters. And when I say that, it might sound, how do I say it? As Wayne continues to march forward, his pace has slowed a little bit. But he marches forward. I don't know how many shots scored that one did on the inside. A left hook that scores, but Rain. Yeah, if Rain has a, like a rally late here, he, he might be able to steal it. But Tyler just can't sit on them ropes. He's got to get off. There are punches underneath from Rain, and he is unloading with nine seconds to go. And just as I thought he was sl uh, slowing, he's like a bulldozer. He's closing in, and what a performance. Wow. That's the end of the fight. Wow. Well, I'm a good judge. I thought Rain was slowing, but he just kept coming. Yeah, he found another gear, and that's going to be fight of the night so far. Narrabri Coal Operations, a minor driver. Have I got that term right? Minor driver? Yeah, correct, yep. Okay. And Tyler Stewart, Mandalong Underground, UG being underground. So you've got to keep it simple for this, for these city slickers, Ben. It says UG. I thought it was OG. I was going to say the original gangster. Well, this will be interesting. Just as Tyler Stewart was commanding everything off the jab, and he was doing it oh so well. Next moment. Jaunty Rain bites down on the guard and finishes like a bulldozer. That's right. It, it depends Body on, shots. It depends how the judges look at it. Here we go. And the winner, by split decision, fighting out of the red corner. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a judge here tonight. How quickly did I? I thought, wow, I got this back to front. That was close. It was. And you know what? Johnny can walk away from that and know that he's done a wonderful job. He's entertained a crowd. He's entertained the commentary team. He's raising money 
for suicide prevention and awareness and also helping out Jay, uh, rather, Jay Stevens. So, fantastic effort from Jonty and Tyler Stewart, certainly our fight of the night so far. Hawani Harris, Hawani Harris coming your way, and it's quite a story. Now, I must tell you, and in my notes it says, please don't tell anyone until after the fight, but as I said, we're not on the canvas. We're way back from the ring. And once these men are in the ring, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Hawani Harris and his journey. And it's harrowing, and it's... Uh, just an amazing story and for a start you know what i'll tell you now he's 59 years of age wow 59 years of age <laughs> oh arnie harris He's got six children at 59 years of age. He's in a relationship. Rick's Creek, he's an operator, 12 years. I'll tell you a little bit more about Hawani very shortly. Mark Fenton makes his way to the ring. He's no spring chicken, he's 47. That's what I still am with dating sites. Anyway, that's a different story. So 47 years of age and tipping the scales at 94.3 kilograms. He's single, happily. Um, from Mandalong, he works at Mandalong, a multi-skilled mine worker. 23 years experience, no fight experience. And he said, I'm here to help our mate Jay. Well done, mate. What a legend. Well, before they, before they go here, before they go here, I'll tell you, Hoani Harris lost a brother to suicide and an older brother to murder eight years ago. He said, it's so important to me and the main cause for me competing. My goodness gracious, can we please? Hoani, you are a hero. You are, you are perhaps the bravest man in this building tonight and you haven't, haven't thrown a punch. Yeah, I... I... I take my hat off to the man. Well, that's a hell of a lot to go through. Just incredible. Just incredible. Jody and Ben Dedra. For that alone, this is incredible. No matter what happens. Mark Fenton, the blue, 94.3 kilo, 47 years of age, works at Mandalong. Multi-skilled mine worker, 23 years experience. Hoani Harris, born in the logging town of Tokaroa in New Zealand. If you're joining us over the ditch, good evening to you. And he grew up amongst some very tough old bushmen. And he learned at an early age that you have to look after yourself. Something tells me we're going to see something special coming your way. If you're joining us on Happy Cam Sports, we're set for three. Mark Warren in commentary with Ben Bazooka Crampton. Illustrious professional career. Sublime amateur career. You turned pro at just 19, did you not? Yeah, correct. I um, yeah, turned pro at an early age and, um, yeah... It was, um, but I had a great career and got to see some some great sights. Did I MC your final fight night, or did you step back in the ring at the was it a basketball centre? A Maitland Basketball Centre, yeah, seven eight years ago. That was it. That was it. You I, got the call up. Someone, so I thought, no, he didn't have another one after that. Because someone was saying, I oh, know it was at a club. I said, no, I was in a basketball centre because I lost about five kilos in the penguin suit. It was so hot that night. Well, it was ridiculous. Hey, try make up on a penguin suit <laughs> <laughs> under the bright lights. <laughs> He's a fighting tonight, fighting out of the blue 
corner. He's a 47-year-old father of two, weighing in at 94.3 kilos. A mine worker at Mandalong, making his boxing debut. Please welcome Mark Fenton. Fighters to the centre of the ring. Looking forward to this. Mark Warren in commentary with Ben Bazooka Crampton from the Fighting Crampton brothers that are Jamie, Ben, Michael, and of course the late Mick Crampton Sr. Hawani Harris, 59 years of age. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Mates in mining, fight for your mate. Here we go. Fenton, the blue heck here. And Hawani. Head movement's good. He's on the toes. Ducks in, tries to score with the right hand. Fenton off the left jab. And there is perhaps a lack of skills, but certainly zero fear in the hands of Hawani Harris. Yeah, and let's not forget, this guy's 59 years old. 59 years of age gives me hope. And Fenton, whether he's waiting for Hawani to perhaps tire, or finding him extremely awkward, I'm not sure. He's a southpaw bazooka. Now he's, no, he switch hits. He yeah. switch hits. He's a switch hitter. He doesn't discriminate. Down he goes, a right hand from Mark Fenton. He's back to his feet. Shane Stanford has said, no, we're not going to take any more of that. And look, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Here's the replay. Round one, Hawani the brave man that he is walking forward and let's look for the defining punch from Fenton the blue headgear yeah short left hand that scored and being on the other side of the ring I couldn't quite tell you what the final punch was from our vantage point it was a right hand Mark I seen a little short right hand that dropped him um, you know safety is our number one thing absolutely here, so you know, I, I, I don't have a problem with that stopping driver. Absolutely. And again, I want to say it. Hawani Harris, if you've got friends or family listening tonight, joining us on Happy Cam Sports live stream, you are one of the bravest men the in the building tonight. Wow, definitely human joins us on the screen and he says, go dad, you should be very, very proud. Is definitely human, the boy or the girl, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, you should be so proud of your dad. 59 years of age and jumping into the ring here tonight. We're fighting for a cause, very close to your heart. Tell us why you wanted to step in the ring at 59 years of age. Um, first thing, I've lost a brother to suicide. Um, also, mental health and suicide prevention. We've done the mining industry is important to me, so, uh, yeah, it's all about that. Right, thank you. Why are you all going to have tonight? Congratulations for stepping in the ring. Thank you. What a legend. And well done also to our winner, Mark Fenton. Well done and congratulations to you. Congratulations to Mark Fenton, who was very, very humble and gracious in victory because the star of the night, Hawani Harris, to compete at 59 years of age in front of a packed house, mates in mining, fight for your mate, and he did that. He lost a brother to suicide. He lost an older brother to murder eight years ago.
Our hats off. We tip our hats to Hoani Harris for our great sponsors, Conveyor Partners, to Daryl Johnston and the team. You're doing, you're doing yourself wonderful justice, supporting wonderful causes. And you can support those people that support us. Go to conveyorpartners.com.au. like to support Jay Stevens, you simply click the QR code to the bottom right of your screen. Two great courses, one great night. Fight for your mate, mates in mining. East Cessnock Bowling Club is the venue. If you get a chance and you're in the Hunter, you've got to check this little beautiful place out. As I've said before, as I've said before, some of the greatest wine country in the world meets some of the toughest men. A very tough breed of the miners. So our red corner, Shannon Southern, hit 46 years of age from Ricks Creek. A plant operator, 10 years, no experience in the fight game, but spends a fair bit of time fighting for fitness. The 46-year-old weighing 79.1 kilos. He's a plant operator at Ricks Creek, and he's making his boxing He says, a great cause, and we're all brothers and sisters and in this game. Of the blue corner, this 53-year-old father of five and grandfather of seven. He's a mine worker at Ashton, with 20 years underground, making his boxing debut. Please welcome Leroy Hammond. Leroy Hammond, the blue corner, 53 years of age. Five kids and seven grandkids. Are you serious? Works at Ashton. He's a mine worker, 20 years undergrounds. He heard they didn't have enough fighters. He said, hey, I'll have a go. I used to work with Jay. And here he is. His name is Leroy Hammond. Eleventh fight of the evening and one to go. Hammond, the blue trunks, the royal blue, the white piping. Southern, solid black trunks, red headgear. Hammond walking forward. Shannon having his way, being able to get the jab off. A right hand over the top is probably a scoring punch. I'm not quite sure how much contact made here, made contact, but still a scoring punch. Hammond working away. The hands are high from Southern. A right hook that lands from Shannon Southern. Doubles up the jab, slips the right hand, moves. Back towards the ropes, goes Southern. Pressure from Leroy. They're not mucking around these guys, Mark, for a 46-year-old and a 53-year-old. You've got to keep reminding me that, I forgot. Yeah. Leroy Hammond, 53 years of age. He heard they didn't have enough fighters. This is royal blue, white piping. So he said, I'll have a go. 
I used to work with Jay. End of round one, I leaned the Southern, but hard to score. Same, yeah, I, I had red corner just edging that one, but both guys had their moments. Um, but yeah, very willing first round. Shannon Southern, 46 years of age, red corner. Leroy Hammond, 53 years of age, with five kids and seven grandkids, do you mind? And still married. Achievements. He works at Ashton, mine worker, 20 years underground, no fight experience. Well, he has now. Daring to go where many fear to tread. A very lonely place. Unless you're prepared. Southern backed up towards the red corner, now to centre ring. Right hand from Hammond may have glanced the gloves. Southern walks forward, scoring shots on the inside. Now moving. Left hand up the middle that scores. Right hand on the button. Oh, yes. I thought I saw the legs go. Just a slight, just slightly. No, Shane's seen enough. Good call. It was a right hand that Ben Crampton will see on the replay once. Happy brings it up for us. Look how quick he is. Happy's doing well here. Have a look at this. Short right hand, Ben, watch it. Left up the middle, boom. Yeah, Point at the chin. Right on the and, chin. And the knees just went for half a second. That's yeah. the telltale sign, the knees. It might not look like much on, on well, the telecast, but, but what the referee's saying, he probably didn't like what he saw. So. And Ben, the punches where you're not trying to load up, speed kills. Absolutely, yep. We'll make this official with a man that I said before has done a wonderful job up there, Glenn Hawke. And great job, Happy, on the replay. Very well done. Quite impressed, actually. Uh, thank you. But that's a good pick-up. We're very impressed that you picked that up where he uh, went down straight away. So, yeah, good pick-up. So what a great night we've had. What a great night here. A at great pickup from 20 metres away, yes, off a monitor. <laughs> I'll go with that. No, i tell you something. I didn't see the hands, I saw the knees. What, it's a telltale sign. And it happens in a flash. The knees just buckle slightly. Well, I hope Leroy's not too hard on himself. He did himself so proud oh, with his man. family and kids. 53 years of age, and then by the way, by the way, let's be fair to him, he could have continued, but the fight in the spirit of the evening, Shane just said, I'm not, I'm not taking chances, not tonight. Yeah, that's right, that was Shane's, the referee's call, and it definitely wasn't Leroy's, I'm sure Leroy would have fought on. I got no doubt Leroy would have fought on. So congratulations to Shannon Southern and Leroy, please. Leroy Hammond, you did fantastically well. And uh, I hope that the five children and seven grandchildren and your wife, Mrs. Hammond, I hope they're all happy as well, because you did us proud. Did your family proud? Did the miners proud? And so this brings us to our final fight of the night. Mark Warren in commentary with Ben Crampton of the Fighting Cramptons from the East Sestock Bowling Club. Fight for your mate, mates in mining. And if you would like to help Jay Stevens, the quick, the QR code is on your screen. Simply click on the QR code to help Jay tonight with his new foundation. Blue corner. In fact, all raffle and auction proceeds tonight also going to Jay and to his new charity, 
Stand for Spinal, a non-profit, and you can help him in his quest when his life changed forever in May of 2022, involved in a mining workplace accident and resulted in breaking his neck, changing his world forever. Two great causes, suicide prevention, awareness, and Jay Stevens, stand for spinal. Our lovely ring card ladies bringing up round number one. Advancing inside for the introductions for our final bound to the nights. Firstly, hiding out of the red corner. This 42 year old father of three weighed in at 103.3 kilos. He's a machine operator at A plus contracting and poly welding. He has had one man career fight out of the red corner. Trent Lamont! Trent Lamont out of the red corner, 103.3 kilograms. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. This 48 year old father of one, a weight in at 101.6 kilos. A shot firer at Tees Mount Arthur, making his boxing debut, Aaron Cutrin. Aaron tipping the scales at 101.6. It's been a big night. We're finishing with oh, the big fellas, Benny. Yeah, a couple of big boys to finish the night off. Yeah, let's hopefully there's some fireworks. 48 years of age, Catrus. 42 years of age, Lamont. Aaron Catrus, married. Working out of Fice in Mount Arthur. Shot <laughs> firer, 21 years. Help me, help me, Ben. Feast Mount Arthur is. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Feast Mount Arthur. 12 back to back. All right. Oh, South for it. So Lamont, the redhead gear, red trunks, white piping. South Poor, as Ben pointed out, poking out the right hand. Catrus looking for an opening. Early on, trying to work away inside. Left hand is where the power is. On a southpaw, Shane Stanford puts on the eight count. Catrus says, I'm okay. He wants to box on. Working out of Thies, Mount Arthur. After Ben picked me up on pronunciation, thank you. Shot fire, a 21 years experience. The Southpaw comes forward, upstairs and underneath. Trent Lamont. Cutrus is brave. Cutrus has got courage. This ain't He's going too work. much longer. I've seen yeah. enough, yeah, I've yeah. seen enough. There it is. Lamont's got skills and the Southpaw and without boxing IQ matching up with the Southpaw for the first time, that can be tough because everything's coming in reverse, Ben. That's tough enough having your first fight, let alone against the Southpaw, so. Take us through, Here, here's the replay action, Ben. Yeah, I just thought the left cross from the Southpaw was doing the damage. The Southpaws can be really awkward if you, you don't know how to fight that style. Oh, yeah, no, good left cross there. He's got some power at 42 years of age. If you've got a problem in the workplace, go to HR. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask him outside. <laughs> that sounds a bit PC there. And if there's any greens here tonight, you can leave as well. <laughs> Trent Lamont, a stoppage victory over Aaron Catrus. And Aaron as well for stepping into the ring for the very first time. And he's a little disorientated and upset at the stoppage by the looks of things, but Shane was looking after his best interests. And I'll say it, he was outskilled on the night. Respectfully. 
Well bounced. Run and one. Have it a big hand for all of our fighters who set foot in the ring here tonight. No lonelier sporting arena in the world in the middle of the boxing ring. And we congratulate each and every one of them for stepping in tonight. Auditorium? Okay, so that brings to a conclusion for our major sponsors, Conveyor Partners, conveyorpartners.com.au, Daryl Johnston and the team, thank you so much for making Fight for Your Mate, Mates in Mining, a reality from the East Cessnock Bowling Club. Ben Crampton, that was fun. A big thank you must go out also to another Ben, Ben Dedra and Jody Dedra, who have been absolutely tireless in their efforts. Yeah, Ben and Jody have been working on this tirelessly all year. Um, never done a boxing event in their life, and they've just pulled this off. So They may well be masochists. Anyway, they'll keep going. <laughs> they seem like they enjoyed it. Um, we're raising awareness. Uh, for mates in mining, uh, for suicide prevention and awareness, and of course Jay Stevens, who is working towards his his charity, and I think it's called Stand for Spinal, and I'm hoping you guys might have been able to contribute a little bit for Jay tonight. It's been a pleasure. So on behalf of Happy and the team at Happy Cam Sports from the East Cessnock Bowling Club. Until we do it all again, I'm Mark Warren on behalf of Ben Crampton. It's good night, God bless, and bye for now.